most people in America are not sure who to love and therefore they take a look at the package and go I can love that and that's what they do but what they end up doing is abusing their friends and their family with that fact they don't mean to do that but their family and friends are looking at that going well it looks good on the outside but I'm not sure about how it's going to go on the inside and openly what's the impact to those kids now on a modestly everyday situation the woman that I've loved most for 10 years across the nation has always had this play going on with my angels every day. I believe in angels. I believe in the Bible in terms of what it says. I believe in other works by Wiccans and pagans who write about the spirit world. And I'm not going to share you those titles because I'm not going to let those authors be abused by you if you're Christian and think that Wiccan is evil. It's not. It can be, but it's not in general. I love those tree-hugging Wiccan girls, don't you? They like to run around naked in the forest. Who wouldn't? But that's not my point, and that's just a joke, and it's not really meant to be an insult either. Whatever their practice is for faith, is their practice in faith. But what I'm saying to you is that we don't need more naked beaches. What I'm saying to you is we need more people who are willing to get a little spiritually naked with other people. And what I was implying is that every day I get this storyline about the one I love, one of them, anyway, and her boys. And every day, or every other day, I get a storyline about my other special soulmate who helped me to write my book. I was an inspiration, one of them, behind one of my books. And I get the angels talking about her children in the most hilarious way that I'm entertained. Now, it's not a mental illness to be a creative arts person. It's also not a mental illness to have a scripting method that complements God's house. Because the Lord God above gives us all our ability to script our lives in which it is in. And at the present moment, the Christian right wants to use these isolation activities to abuse people and their opportunities. 